On this episode, call assholes and cheapskates. do that. Hey everybody, this is the quarter show. We have some strong language here. I apologize for that, but there's no other way to say it. Rated R. Uh, rated R, I know, I know. I apologize. I typically don't cuss, don't cuss on the show and things like that, but I have to say it and we all know it. And, uh, you know, some people are a-holes, right? And assholes. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's hard and to say it. Look, here we go. It's, we try and keep the show clean, but the truth is every now and then you come across this person and you know they're, they're they're bad for business they're bad for business and we've always had the policy here to get them off your lines and i think i think there's this whole because the customer's always right and this whole mentality that's been float floated out we did a previous show on this but because the customer's always right there's been this whole mentality that goes in the business world where often entrepreneurs or business people or salespeople you don't want to tick off the customer and you want to service them and you're trying to take care of them and so you kind of just say Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, and or Mrs. Customer, or I apologize, and you sort of propitiate to them, and you let them walk all over you. And you're like, let me give you a discount, and how can I make you happy, and all these different things. But it's the wrong play. It's just the wrong play. Protect your group, protect yourself, protect your space, and get them out. Okay? Because if you, it's like bad behavior, if you don't knock it off right then and there, if you don't get it, get it corrected, they're going to go and do it to the next company, to the next company, to the next company. Or do to your production or team. Or to your production team. Do yourself a favor. Do your people a favor. Defend your position. Don't let them go around. you got to stop them dead in their tracks and don't let them go around and bully every, every other person, every other entrepreneur, every other salesperson in business because it's a disservice to everybody. Stop them dead in their tracks. Make You, you should be the first line of defense. Okay, and if you if you run into if you run into uh, somebody who is that way, right? Somebody who's an a hole. Just just tell them. Okay, understood. Thanks. We can't do anything. We can't do any business on this. Or or yeah, that's the thing. Thank you very much. No problem. We shouldn't be doing, working together. Just cut it off, right? Just cut it off and just get them off your list. Get them out. Don't even try and solve the problem. Just get rid of them. And I can tell you, your flows and your organization will run better. The morale will be higher. People will be doing better. People don't feel oppressed. People make less mistakes. When people, when people like this get on your lines, you're going to have flubbed products. You're going to have people who are upset or frustrated or whatever, which is going to cause other problems in the organization. It will wreak havoc and you won't even really know where it's coming from. Okay, and one of the, so one of the things to do is have a policy internally that you do not do business with you know what's. Don't do it, right? Cut it off at the knees. The other thing I want to say on this point uh, is is and they happen to often go together. They happen to often go together, but it's the, it's also the cheapskates. It's also the cheapskates. The people who are just haggle, 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 haggle. Even if you, you know deliver, 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 or you, you, you even you discount, 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 it's never enough. Well, and you can see it when the hagglers do it, you can see the type of haggler yeah. who goes, well, this part of your prospect, or of your product is crap, and I had to do, and this is garbage, so I want more off, more off the price, because I don't think that this is, I've seen 75 other companies do what you do, that they're not they're lying to They're lying. you. They're trying They're to nullify lying. you. Because Robert, Robert went like this with a person who did this the other day. Well, why are we talking? <laughs> like, well, why, why are you talking why to are they, me? Why, they wanted to visit There's 75 other shops that, that do the same garbage you're telling me we do. Like for cheaper. Why are, why are you talking to Because me? they're trying to haggle because you Because you're a liar. They're lying. They want to do business with you. They're trying to haggle you down. So it's not every and negotiation. Not, yeah. Right. But they're trying to use you it. Can they're see trying it. to nullify yeah. you yeah. To, to reduce your value and bring you down to a lower rate. Don't do business with this person. Either handle them, confront them, and handle them dead in their tracks, or get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because it's, you're never going to please them. Even when you, you reduce the rate at such a level, you're going to deliver them, do whatever you're going to do with them. They're still going to complain. They're still going to go on and on. Cut them off at the knees. You're better off to spend 10 minutes on it and cut it off and be done with it than drag it on and keep working on it as a constant problem child and all different things. 
get rid of it. Again, if you do this with the a-holes and you do this with cheapskates and everybody as in the sales community, entrepreneur community start cutting these people off of the knees, there's nowhere to go. And the only thing for them to do is to change and adopt to what the culture is and what people will now stand for, mm -hmm. right? And if people's uh, ethics levels are higher, people's what their 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 uh, acceptance level is higher, the the level of playing field across the board in companies will come up, and these people will will get filtered out. They'll get filtered to the sidelines because you can see it's straight poison. You can see it yeah. because look at this. Look, let's say all of us who don't operate that way shunted all of them off to the side, and they ended up doing business with each other. They would be out of business, all of them, so yeah. fast because yeah. they're poisonous. Yeah, they, yeah. So you got to get rid of that poison and keep it to the side and insist when you are working with us, you are not poison. You're not, you're not nullifying us. You're not criticizing us. You're spending good money and we're going to give you a good product and you're going to spend it. You're going to spend it. You're going to pay, right? Yeah. Don't do that stuff. Yeah, and be willing to be willing to be in exchange with people. Be willing to do you know pay for quality work, pay the right rate, and look be the be the same way yourself. Obviously, treat people well. Make sure your right. people are treating people well. Right. Make sure your your juniors, right, your your other people on your team are not treating people like dirt or, or sending some of these emails that some people send, like literally cussing people out or whatever. Like that's a dick move, you know. It's like <laughs> what's the rate in our it's show? Like, it's like it's like be kind to people. Yeah. Right. Force your people to be kind to people. Yeah. No, nothing wrong with being firm. Nothing wrong with being a tough negotiator. Nothing wrong with using good communication. But there's really should be no tolerance for people who are outside of that that category. And you can't even allow it internally. If you catch somebody yeah. that way, you have to get them to knock it off, or you got to get them out. Right. Yeah. And so it's very important. It's very important for you to keep your stuff about because the truth is, business can be a lot of fun. You can make really good friends in business. Your clients can be your friends. You can go golfing with people. You can, you know, ha you know, talk on the phone and talk about really interesting things. But business is made up of incredible people that are innovative and doing incredible things. And you may as well surround yourself in these people and keep keep that as a protected environment where it's enjoyable and fun. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be an environment where you're miserable and you're dealing with miserable people. Right. There's there's an, there's seven billion people on the planet. There's an ocean of people to do business with, and sometimes it seems like you have to take every single every single scrap that you can get. But the truth is, you don't. You don't. And in fact, your business will probably spike to the degree that you focus on doing business with the right people, not doing business with people who are like this, a holes and cheapskates. Get rid of them. Get them off your line. It's not worth it. Go and, and then focus on driving the, the right accounts where you have a good relationship and everything mends really, really well. It will force those constraints in. It puts a tighter constraint. Yes, and maybe it means you have to do more work, but that work is worth it. It's, there's nothing better than servicing a client who you love. You love their company. You love working with them. You love their people and what they're doing, and you're proud of helping them. Right? If you do that, you're going to do your best work anyway, if, if, or you're going to deliver your best product anyway. Right. If you're doing business and some person haggled you down to some ridiculous rate that you know you can't do anyway, and then they're being an a-hole, it's like, what kind of work are you going to deliver anyway? And it's your reputation and your company that's on the line, and now you're not doing your best work and everybody's miserable. Poison, man. That doesn't make a lot of sense. That's gross. It's so, yeah. you know, really, really just, yes, I know the show is a little, you know, R-rated and, and kind of a bit of a rant, but it's important. This is an important one. and and. You make sure you're doing this. If you if you look around and you start listening out and you're feeling stress or duress or whatever, isolate it out. Start looking for it. Say like, are we doing business with a holes? Yeah. Do I have? Do we have cheapskates on our lines? And you can reflect right. on it as from a salesperson. <clears throat> I could probably name three or four clients who I'm I'm very glad I'm I'm, I'm appreciative of their business to a degree, but I don't really want to talk to them again. Mm -hmm. I feel tired just considering talking to them again. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. No. And and uh, probably those three or four, I probably shouldn't have brought on for Richter in the first place. But it did. Yeah. There it is. So you, you can reflect on it, sort of see what area you, you maybe you should call call them, you know, siphon them off, shunt them, put them away. Yeah. yeah. Look, and, and you can do it in a lot of different ways. I mean, you, you could you could recommend a couple other companies for them to go to or whatever, and do it. Make it a smooth handoff if you want. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. look, I mean, we've had clients, we've had clients, believe it or not, where I'm thinking of this one guy where he, he fit this exact criteria. He's a successful guy, he's done well in business, mm. um, but he was a jerk. And 
we literally, I got on the phone with him, I communicated the fact that I didn't like the way he communicated and, and he had to get his manners in in terms of speaking with our people and the way he works and, and just like his just overall etiquette in, in business was completely out. And we didn't want to continue the relationship if it was gonna be that way. And I was fairly firm with him and I think he was shocked by it. And then at that point, he course corrected and was never like that with his skin. So, you know, sometimes don't be afraid of just literally calling somebody to the carpet. Because you you may be surprised and it may completely you may be doing them a favor right. and it may be it may completely take that relationship 360. Yeah, because it's not that they're all bad apples. It's oh, not that it's not that it's not that you always find a bad apple. There are bad apples out there. There are people that you really shouldn't be doing business with. But there are people who've used that whether it's bullying or mm -hmm. whatever it's called. They've used it and it's become a successful action because people people cow to it and go oh like this. So they keep using it. And it's not that they're bad at heart, it's that they yeah. found something, they found a sword. And they found they started a, going a workable out. model, but the truth is until somebody stands up and says, look, hey, you need to knock this Enough. off. And they go, oh, yeah, I'm not like that, you're right, you're right. And then that. they correct, you know, so, you know, I think, I think, you know, it's, it's a big planet, we all have to get along and we have to, you know, and you, you have to do work and I think you may as well make it enjoyable and do business with it, you, pe people that you really enjoy doing business with and, and, and you should get paid, you know, for your products and your services for the, for the right rate and not be haggled down to, to nothing. This, it doesn't make any sense. You need to protect your company, your people, the culture, the environment, the morale, and you need, you need to protect your prices, you know? So think with that. I hope that helps. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button and, uh, and make sure if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, and we'd love to see you share it. If you, if you like the episode, share it on social and things like that as well. Okay, thanks for watching.